And ma'am, like, uh, just wanted to know, like, uh, did you ever share your, like, Amazon account with your friends or family member? I mean, like, do they have the authorized to access your account? Okay, right, ma'am, because uh, there are so many, like, hackers, and we, even we don't know, like, from which part of country they are trying to access our, like, uh, IP address, and that every time they are trying to, like, uh, get the information from there, right? So, which is not a good sign for the, for our identity as well, right? So we need to remove them, we need to ignore them as well as possible. The scammer you just watched is running an interesting mix of the Amazon scam and the tech support scam all in one. His boss sends voicemails to thousands of US citizens per minute and this guy is one of the many agents that picks up these calls from people calling back after receiving their voicemail. This scammer has several different ways to scam the people on the other side of the phone which I will get into later. First, let's go back into time to one of my characters, Pamela Boiler talking to a colleague of this scammer that you saw in the intro. Accept and dismiss. Yeah, click on accept. Session started. Permissions, admin. Uh, I, I can see a mouse on my screen now. Yeah, just minimize. No, no, no. Just minimize this page. Yeah. Okay, so open your, open your, open your Microsoft Edge. Open my Microsoft Edge. The first thing I always like to do once I get this connection is to check out where the scammer is from. As you can see on the screen, when we look up the IP address of the scammers, their call center, we get indicated towards the north of India, near New Delhi in Faridabad, Haryana. This is not the only machine in the call center that we have remote access to. After I got the first guy, I called back another few times and managed to get two connections through social engineering. And then we also decided to run a scan on vulnerabilities in the network work we managed to spread to some more computers in total we have two windows 10 connections and three windows 7 connections i downloaded all of the most important files threw them in one folder and i will quickly run you guys through all of these files all right so here we have all of the files uh, let's start off with the original guy that pamela boiler talked to you guys saw the clip uh, this guy had some pictures of cars and bikes some background pictures but also three screenshots bogus capture and wallp uh, let's open bogus first so okay this is a screenshot of a victim's computer we see team viewer here and then we can see the victim's screen over here it says home global it solutions it's a wix site and it's some kind of uh, form a refund form and it has the victim's first name, last name, email address, phone number, home address, their bank name, and the refund amount. Uh, then the other screenshot is kind of similar. It shows another victim's, a different victim's information. It's kind of the same information as the last one. And this is the same PC as the first screenshot, the same victim, but this time it's a screenshot of her bank. You can already see the scammer blocked her remote input, and he's probably also about to blacken her screen and manipulate her bank account, as you can see. Then we started spreading across the network. Uh, the first spread didn't really have any files, and then the second guy had one screenshot. That screenshot is also victim information, first name, last name, email address, phone number, home address, and date of birth of a different victim. And then the Windows 10 PCs, this guy had a picture of Microsoft, Microsoft logo while he's doing the Amazon scam, but okay. Then here we have an email, and this email they, the scammer sent to the victims after the victims have bought the Amazon gift card. Because they tell the victim, you have to buy us the gift card as like a security key code or whatever. And then after you buy us the gift card, give us the gift card code, we will give you your money back. And so that's why it says the refund of the $500 is processed and they say that it's for an encryption of an IP address because they claim that there are hackers in the victim's computer. Very weird scam. Uh, it's like a mix of the tech support scam and the Amazon scam, like I said before. And they claim to be the Amazon security department, David Chin. And then the second uh, Windows 10 guy also had a Microsoft logo here. And he also had some sort of similar email, like greetings from Amazon, and this is your security code. Another guy, William Haig of the Amazon fraudulent department this time. And then he also has some pictures. This is something to do with Buddhism or Hinduism, like background pictures. And here's like a picture of a call center, a stock photo. And then there's another TXT file. This is a script for a different scam. 
it's for a uh, support so a microsoft support scam and other guys that i was watching were not using scripts so this is probably for people that are recent to like new people to the call center to help them out with scamming people if you guys want to read this script you can pause the video i'm just going to scroll and you guys can pause and then just read what they say to the victim if you guys are interested okay and then the last txt file i think I already have this now. Okay, so there's a cell phone number of a victim, their zip code, full name, the last four digits of their credit card, and then, yeah, this victim got scanned for $500, target, this is the gift card number, and this is the access code, the pin code, and then I'm not sure, poor Nima and Jojo, what that means. Maybe it's the scammers that scam them so they can get like a bonus on top of their salary, but yeah. After doing all this, it was time for me to watch the scammers. And this is when I found out that the particular scammer that I was watching had two different ways of scamming people. Those two different methods are the offline and the online method. The online method is the usual, but this time it was a little bit different. As I said, it's a mix of the tech support scam and the Amazon scam. But then the offline method was for people that were not at home or they didn't have any computer or laptop. They didn't have Wi-Fi or something else. Usually a scammer would just give up if you tell them this but these scammers have like an offline method as a backup i can explain everything but it's better if i just show you guys how it works through a clip of the scammer actually trying to scam somebody with the offline method in order to block them uh, from our server right from an internet server so sir uh, like are you are you in front of your computer at the moment and let me know because you're on okay okay so you're driving right now okay all right no problem so sir what i'll uh, okay i'll tell you one more thing like uh, we do have two procedure right so we can follow the offline so as i said like the people are trying to hack your account which is not a good sign for your identity all right and they may misuse your account mm -hmm. so we need to block them we need to uh, like remove them from our internet server so for that we need a security key card right it contains like 16 to 20 a uh, long alphanumeric numbers the encryption number which is called so we need to activate them as soon as possible right so menu sir which uh, like uh, nearby your i mean uh, do you know the store like uh, walmart Ty uh, target walgreens dollar general so which is nearby you at the moment okay so sir you need to go to the walmart and you need to get the security key card of 200 dollar and it will be refund back to you within two to three working hours once we activate the card it will refund back to you by the amazon okay it will be refund back to you sir it will be 100 percent refund no, sir. No, sir. I don't, I don't give mm -hmm. no. you are going no, see we are not asking you for the money yeah we need the security key card which uh, like the number on the back side of that security uh, card there's a long 16 to 20 alpha numeric mm -hmm. no no this is not a scam sir believe me you motherfucker and now let's take a quick look at the online method like usual the scammer starts off by connecting to the victim's computer this time using ultra viewer while doing this he is talking to the victim telling her about hackers in her computer and he is pretending to be amazon as soon as he connects to the victim's computer he starts the part what usually tech support scammers do so he runs a fake virus scan in cmd and tells the person that all of the active connections on the computer which could be google chrome or whatever but he tells them that those connections are hackers from Ohio, from Texas, from China, and of course from Russia. All right, ma'am, can you see the black screen on your computer? All right, okay, so where we need to work, we need to work in the current location. If you see the current lo connection, I'm sorry, the 16 current connections, right, from the foreign. And if you can see on the below, there's an active connection and just below there there's a local address and the second one is the foreign address and the third state state means status okay so i'll explain you ma'am the local address means this is your id this is your machine permanent address okay if you can see all are like in the same sequence right 192.168.1 and if you go to the foreign address if you see here there's a too many like account there the different different 
like uh, from location and if you see the status some are already been established and some are like waiting close wait means they're waiting uh, they're trying to get enter into uh, your server right which is not a good sign for your machine for your identity as well so right so this is like uh, like totally the hacking issue so ma'am uh, what I'm going to do now I'll go ahead and connect your call to the senior security department because they're the only one who uh, who have uh, like authorized to access activate the security key and they will let you know exactly from which location they're trying to get enter into your I mean our server right hi ma'am my name is Dave and I'm one of the senior network and security analysts with Amazon how are you doing the scammer then goes on to do the usual, what they usually do in the tech support scam is to show the victim that services in the computer have stopped, which is completely normal, but they make it seem like it is a problem. And they also run a CMD command, which shows the victim all of the directories in her computer, but the scammers make it seem like that's some antivirus scanner. And then when the showcase of all the directories is finished, they type their own commands, which make it seem like CMD is telling the victim that there is something wrong with the computer. Right. So you can see the scan is still running, we are just waiting for it to finish. When we have the results as well, it says banking at risk, social security number exposed. Well, when was the last time that you logged in into your bank account through your computer or your phone or iPad? The scammer goes on to type out a whole story in Notepad about what's wrong with the computer, what they have to do, how much it's going to cost and everything. After convincing the victim that something is genuinely wrong with her computer, he gets to the point where he asks for a payment. Luckily, this victim knew that something was off and she was not willing to go to the store to buy the scammer's gift cards. Well, I can definitely back out, ma'am, but at the end, when you lose all your informations, you will not be able to back out. Because you don't know what all kind of things that these people have done onto your account. The victim then keeps telling the scammer to get out of her computer. I'm not interested. I'm not going to buy you any gift cards. After he doesn't get what he wants, he shows his true nature. All right, ma'am, you can hang up. Now let's get into the destruction of this scammer. Just like in the Russian hacker video, I first filled up the scammer's whole startup folder with a bunch of different viruses. On the last video, you guys commented that you wanted to see what happened. And I myself was also interested to see which virus would take over because they all mess with the BIOS. And I was interested to see as to which one would come out on top. All right, so here we are on a virtual machine. I put all the viruses that were in the folder on the other virtual machine. Uh, on this virtual machine what i'm gonna do first with the scammers is run you are an idiot.exe which doesn't destroy the computer but then when they restart they will actually get destroyed all right so here we go okay. is something going to happen okay Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Oh, that's wanna cry. It's the first one to pop up. It doesn't destroy the PC, it just encrypts all encrypts all the files. Nope. Oh. And there's wanna cry again. Okay. <coughs> The PC just blue screened in, in a different language. Windows Boot Manager. Uh, let's see. Boot normally, I guess. Okay, it's just completely not booting up. I think I just completely ruined my ISO file or something. It's just not booting up. All right, well, at least we know <laughs> it completely messes up the computer and they have to format the hard drive. Before I actually destroy the scammers, I want to ask you guys to make sure that you are subscribed. YouTube is sending me emails bullying me with the fact that my viewer to subscriber ratio is so terrible. So please make sure you are subscribed so I don't get bullied by my employer anymore. Now let's get into the destruction. 
welcome to Amazon. You are connected with Alice. How may I help you? Ma'am, the reason why we called you because uh, we found some suspicious activities that is related to your Amazon account. Are you aware of this? Okay. Stay online. Oh, well, <laughs> that's number one down the drain. Let's go on to number two. Welcome to Amazon. This is Kiati. How may I help you? Alright, sir. Thank you. Your system hack is here. You're working with Kissing Hacky. Are you an idiot? <laughs> Finally, after 10 minutes, they decided to turn off the computer. <laughs> That's number two. Let's move on to the Windows 7 this time. Unfortunately, those Windows 7 guys do not have mics. So I'm just going to call one of them and try to see if I can get on the call with them and then destroy them on the call so we can still hear their reaction. And then the other two I will just destroy without a reaction. As you could hear, my plan was to call the scammer and then destroy him whilst on the call with them with You Are An Idiot. I tried this. I was on the call with the scammer for about 35 minutes trying to open You Are An Idiot, but it wasn't working for some reason i don't know why but you are an idiot wasn't working on windows 7 so after 35 minutes of holding this camera up trying to destroy him he finally realized that i was wasting his time he hung up the call and then i was kind of pissed so i just started testing random viruses and nothing really worked for some reason after opening like six or seven different files i finally found something that worked I let the troll a lol virus from Enderman play for a few minutes, but the scammers weren't really responding. They were not shutting down the computer, which I wanted them to do. I wanted them to see the virus and then shut down the computer and get destroyed by like 20 viruses. So I decided to open a few more copies of this virus. Oh, I just crashed. Oh my god, man. Okay. And another one. He <laughs> just crashed. Okay. And finally, number three. Oh, okay. <laughs> this one just crashed as well. All right, guys, uh, that was it for this video. I'm really sorry that I couldn't get the reaction for the Windows 7 guys. But yeah, it just wasn't working out. And I wanted to get this video out for you guys this Saturday and not next week. I hope you guys don't mind. If you still enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a comment and a like for the algorithm. And please make sure you are subscribed, like I said before. If you want to support me financially, you can check out my Patreon, which is always in the description. I also have a Twitter with some bonus content on there and also a Discord for my community. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Stay cautious. Bye-bye.